I'm anxious. Give me a minute. <sighs> A Matrix TV show. Well, not just a Matrix TV show, a spin-off show is rumored to be made. Now, before I read this article from We Got This Covered, I just want to say, for the record, that a Matrix TV show spin-off is not a really good idea. Because I want to say we technically did get one. The Animatrix movie. If you don't remember, the Animatrix movie is a series, is a trilogy in in this in this one movie that's animated that has a whole bunch of different stories, and and while some of them take place after Matrix One, and like I would say a bit during the second Matrix movie, half of them are before the Matrix. So I would say the Animatrix technically did count as our spinoff show because there was a whole bunch of stuff in there that and I didn't get. So let's read this article. <coughs> Based on recent developments, there are two clear ways for a streaming service to build up a library of original content in order to convince subscribers to shell out their monthly fees. There's a, net, there's a Netflix method of buying up properties to develop an expand, expensive roster of movies and TV shows that have never been seen in live action before. Or there's a Disney Plus formula of using the established brands already at their disposal as the jumping point. As a Warner Brother, Warner Media and... and, and as a Warner Media enterprise, it isn't surprising that HBO Max appears to be following the latter. There are already multiple DC-related projects in the works. While just today it was revealed that the Warner Brothers are taking pitching pitches set um set in and around the world of Harry Potter. I don't know how I feel about that one. There's also been speculation that the MonsterVerse could also be getting an episodic treatment, while a spin-off series of The Matrix is now rumored to be in the works. Scrolling. Let me just. Where was I? Oh, we're almost to the end anyways. The fourth entry in the sci-fi franchise is scheduled to release in December of this year, but it would appear that the studio show no signs on giving up the mythology anytime soon. There isn't much information available, but on paper, it sounds like a solid idea, and they're poured from giant freaking robot notes that the project will set in the same world as the movies, but will focus on different characters dealing with the Matrix. The expansive mythology created by the Wachowskis is far from limited to the adventures of Neo, of course, and as we've already seen in the past with the Animatrix, ah, see? There is almost infinite number of storytelling opportunities available. HBO Max is clearly banking on marquee titles, drawing in customers as the streaming wars continue to heat up, and with building build-in followings and over $1.6 billion in box office takings, the Matrix is definitely heading contender to bolster the platform's lineup of originals. Before you say anything, a spin-off series of Neo would not be a bad idea, but technically, we already have like a spin-off thing of Neo. Right up. No, I don't have it here. Never mind. Wrong area. It's over there. Path of Neo was a third Matrix game that w was basically the, the all the Matrix movies in Neo's perspective. Now, if they remaster that game, they're gonna have to add the fourth game into there somehow. Please remaster the game. It's so hard. I haven't even finished the second half of the game. But too busy with Cyberpunk. So I would say maybe we'll be seeing like a spinoff series of like. All the ones before Neo, leading up to Neo, like I don't know, like the sixth is Neo the seventh one or the sixth one? No, he's the sixth one, I think. Yeah, 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 he's the sixth one. So like the fifth one dies and reincarnates into Neo. That'd be like pretty sweet or something like that. Or we could see like Morpheus. Maybe he'll be get on his own spinoff show, like how Morpheus was unplugged from the Matrix and got all this. Mumbo Jumbo in his head, or maybe Kid's gonna get a show. If you don't remember, Kid was in the Animatrix. They explained his story, how he's the first um, blue pillar to get out of the Matrix without a red pill. I thought it was pretty sweet, so I don't know. It all depends on uh, what's gonna happen, I guess. So, yeah, thank you all for watching today's video. Um, what do you guys think? Uh, who's gonna get a spin-off show for the Matrix? Um, I'm, my, um, all bets are on Neo, but I don't know about that. They're probably gonna have to get that guy from the Matrix game that um. In the Path of Neo game, Keanu wasn't voicing Neo, it was some other dude. This They used this dude for the Constantine game. Yeah, there was a Constantine game. Not getting it, by the way. So maybe they'll use that dude to voice Neo for if he gets his own spin-off show of like before he ever entered the Matrix and met Morpheus or became so obsessed with finding him and looked paler than a ghost. I still don't understand for life of me how they did that. 
Or maybe they'll get Trinity a spin-off show. Ah, oh, Trinity, I would love to see her get her own spin-off show. Uh, it all depends, though, ladies and gentlemen. So, thank you all for watching today's video. Um, if you liked it, then you should, um, press the button that says subscribe, because I just found out that a lot of you are not, um, watch my videos, but you're not subscribed to me. So, bizarre. <laughs> bizarre. So, um, yeah, don't forget to turn on the post notifications, and leave a like, and comment what you, who you think is gonna get a spin-off show. And I swear to you, the next movie review is definitely gonna be Cry Baby. Okay, j just be patient, alright? It's hard to listen to a musical soundtrack. I will get on that as soon as I can, as quickly as I can, alright? I'm grinding out content every day. So, bye!